Something that can be a little bit scary is using the Adobe fonts inside of your show at site. It's a little bit confusing in the front end, but I promise once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. And then you have access to all of your beautiful Adobe fonts in your projects without having to purchase that WAP file, which we all know can be really expensive. And we already pay for Adobe fonts with our subscription. So first we want to kind of talk about how things look in the back end. I've mocked up kind of just like a sample for you. So um, this font right here is a custom font. So I have the WAF file, I own a license for it. I uploaded it to my media library and then I applied it inside the design settings for my um, heading and my title font. So that's just like normal. On the subheading in the paragraph fonts, this is where we want to use our Adobe font. But first we have to pick something that is very, very similar uh, because our Adobe fonts don't show up in the back end of Show It, right? Um, only the custom font or the Google font that we use as a substitute will show up. So what I did was I am trying to use this font, this Libertad bold and regular and those are Adobe fonts. That's what I want to use for my subheading and my paragraph. But I have selected Meriwether Sands for the, um, the medium font for the subheading and the light one for the paragraph because it is very, very similar to this font. This honestly can be the hardest part of setting this up is just finding something similar because you want to be able to have it match on the back end of how it's going to look on the live site as closely as possible while you're designing. So I just went through the Google font library and picked out one that was pretty similar and then um, use that inside the design settings for the subheading and the paragraph font. I'll show you what that looks like here. If we go to design settings, you can see paragraph and the subheading font. So we've set up our design settings just like we normally would inside of Show It. We've picked a Google font that's very close to our Adobe font that we want to use. Now we need to do a little bit of work on the Adobe side. So let's navigate to Adobe fonts. In here I've just searched inside um, the font library to find the font that I want to use, right? So you can see I've already activated these because I've been using them in XD, um, but I just want to add the styles that I need to uh, what's called a web project. So if we remember, the ones that I want inside of Show It are the bold and the regular. So we're gonna go here and we are gonna find the bold Here's the regular, let's actually add the regular first. So I'm just gonna click on this little icon here and it's gonna hit add to web project. Now I can add it to an existing project or I can just create a new one. I've already added it to a project, but this is where you would do so. And then you would just hit um, add or create. Next, let's find the bold, here it is. I'm gonna do the same thing, select my project from the dropdown and then hit save. Now we can actually navigate to our web projects and add more or see what we have. So to do that, you're gonna go up to under your profile icon, click on manage fonts here. And then once that loads, you can actually select web projects from this menu here. And you can see all of your different web projects. So I highly recommend like dividing it up um, into whatever you're working on. So this is the one I'm working on here and I just need this one. So this is the line that you're going to copy, right? So I'm just gonna copy this here and then we're gonna go back over to show it. Inside Show It, we're going to click on our page and then we're going to go down um, and get to those advanced settings, right? So custom head, HTML, this is where I am pasting this. So I haven't done it. I made a copy of the home page just to show you. I haven't done it over here. So um, first, let's actually preview this. You can see what it looks like on desktop. Awesome. So this is the Meriwether Sands Lite that's what it looks like. It is not displaying this because we haven't put in the code yet. So we're going to go to our custom head HTML. We're going to pop this in here, hit save. Now that's just the first step. Now we need to actually get some custom CSS. So we're going to go back over to Adobe fonts. Then you can click on edit project. And this is where you can add more fonts from the family if you need to. But I am just going to copy over where it says copy CSS on the different weights here. I'm gonna click copy, copy, and then I'm gonna bring it back into show it. Now I'm going to paste it into this custom CSS box, but we have to add some styling, right? So this doesn't mean anything by itself. So I'm just gonna leave that here for now and I'm going to copy and paste the um, kind of settings that we need. So hit save. 
So I'll leave this in the description for you, but this is what you need for each different style of font. So title, heading, subheading, paragraph. We're focused on the paragraph and subheading, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this right here for the paragraph. I'm gonna copy and paste that into our um, custom CSS here. Perfect. Now this just plugs in right where it says font family. So we'll take this out. Oops, we will plug in what we copied and pasted and now we need to delete this out. I was just holding it there. Of course, you could type this up in a separate document and just do one copy and paste. Um, now we need to actually copy and paste it down so we have the .d and .m. It has to be inside both, right? So we're gonna take out here, we're gonna pop in our font family again. Perfect, so that is for our paragraph. We're gonna hit save. So now if I preview this, we're gonna go to preview. I've only done the desktop, so don't judge me there. We're gonna go here. Now we can see that there is a change. So this is Meriwether and this is our um, Libertad. And the way I know that is I've installed, it's so similar, right? It's a little bit hard to tell. So I have this um, what the font extension and you can see when I hover over here, it's giving us the right one. And when I hover over here, it's giving us kind of the replacement that we can see on the back end. Now we just do the same exact thing. We're gonna go first to Adobe Fonts we are going to click, we're using the bold for the subheading. We're gonna click copy here, go back in to show it. I'm going to paste this. Now I'm gonna go back over to this document here and grab this for the subheading. Perfect, bring it back in to show it. Paste it in and then I'm going to copy this and put it back where the font family goes. So here, and then on the next one, font family here. Perfect. Now when I hit save, we can preview this again here. Perfect. Now we'll use our what the font extension or any font revealer extension that you want, and you can see that it's matching. So um, it's you know a couple of extra steps, but it's really so worth it. That way you can use all the Adobe fonts just like you have inside of every other program like Illustrator and XD. You can use it inside of Show It. It just takes a little bit of work. Um, but yeah, I hope this was really helpful. This is something that once I figured out how to do, um, it was like a huge weight off my shoulders. So I wanted to share it. If you have any questions, absolutely reach out. I'm happy to help.